most important control on the Nikon D5000 is the exposure mode dial. The mode dial has 13 different settings and each one of them will change how the camera takes your pictures. So choosing the most appropriate exposure mode will make a big difference in how your pictures turn out. Now the exposure modes range in complexity from fully automatic, where the camera controls everything, all the way to fully manual, where you have to do all of the work yourself. In fact, they can be divided up into two groups, the advanced modes and the point and shoot modes. But what you need to understand is that all of the point and shoot modes are really just different variations of putting the camera on automatic exposure for taking snapshots. So if you really don't want to be bothered with setting any of the camera's controls yourself, then just turn the dial to one of the point and shoot modes and start shooting. But I encourage you to think twice before using any of the point and shoot modes. Why? because they take too much control out of your hands and give it to the camera. Not only do they take charge of the exposure settings, they also override just about every other custom setting on the camera, including white balance, active de-lighting, picture control, the flash, the metering mode, and more. My advice is to learn to shoot like a professional and use the advanced modes instead because they give you a lot more control over the camera's settings. Yes, there may be a bit of a learning curve as you figure out how the camera works and which settings are best to use in different situations, but in the long run, you'll be rewarded with much better results. The advanced modes are program auto exposure, shutter priority, aperture priority, and manual. These are the professional modes and are the only ones that allow you to take full advantage of the power and flexibility that the D5000 offers. For more great digital photography tips, be sure to check out www.larkbooks.com/digital. Thank you for watching and have fun shooting.